Warning, this video is rated R for random. In a world, a strange crowded Lego City stands in one boy's room. Watches lay askew. Strange battles are fought. I'm gonna kick your butt, man. No, I'm gonna kick yours. Ah, ah, yeah, I win. I win. Ah, ah. Find them. And cyborg dinosaurs with satellites for tails roam the earth. Including cannons and destroy telephone wires. <laughs> Our story starts with this guy. His name is Bob. Hi kids, I'm Bob, the oversized Lego guy, and I'll be right back. Yep. Hmm. Sorry, I had to run an errand. I had to find a thermometer, but I was unsuccessful since I was only gone for about two seconds. Anyhow, I'm going to teach you about thermal energy. That's heat to you. Thermal energy is all around us, even in us. For proof, you find a thermometer and put it in your armpit, or some place similar. You will see your body temperature. I mean temperature. Now, please excuse this giant hand and his friend that are kind of mutilating me. Anyways, I can no longer move, seeing as though my spine has been twisted, but I will get paramedics to help with that. Furthermore, heat and thermal energy are what this video is about, and I shall be teaching you about it, along with some friends. Oh, great, they're back. These fans, you guys won't be in the movie if you keep on doing this. You won't be in the movie. You Oh, that's not good. No, it's not. Ah, uh, this is such a nice day. It reminds me of the time I boiled water. It was hot. It boiled at 100 degrees Celsius. Celsius! <laughs> then I froze it froze 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 afros I froze it and it froze at zero degrees Celsius that's right water froze at zero degrees Celsius and I'm floating this doesn't make much sense well I think my work here is done I mean I, I just have to I just had this flashback and did you know it's such a nice day today? And I'm reminds me of the time I boiled some water, and um, it tasted edible. Well, pretty edible. And well, what's that sound? Do you hear it? Oh, wait, it's gone now. Well, anyways, the water tasted edible when I froze it. Then I boiled it, and and, and well, there's a new sound. So I, I froze it, then I boiled it, then all of a sudden, Bob Saget came along, and this has nothing to do with heat and thermal energy. <laughs> Why did a car nearly hit my head? This is getting freaky. Freaky, 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 freaky. This is scary. That was...
was not supposed to happen. Why am I still levitating? Near schnear. I am so scared. Hi kids! It's me, Bob! I'm back with a whole lot of bandages. I am temporarily immobile, just like when my spine was kind of, uh... You know, never mind. Well, I'm going to teach you about something now. And that something is thermal energy related. That's right, I'm talking about radiation. Yay! Radiation is when heat comes off something in all directions. That's kind of a terrible example or definition. So I'll give you an example. My example would be at a campfire. Your front gets warm, but your back would be cold. That's because the fire is radiating onto you, but not your back, because you're facing it. Now I have to talk to you about another thing. Those hands. If you see those pesky hands again, you're going to want to avoid them. Those guys are mean. Ouch, that hurt. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> Are we done? Yes, 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 boss. Hello, kids. I'm am the cyborg dinosaur. You may know me from this video. Ow. Hey, what's that hand doing? Hey, what are you doing, man? What are you? Oh, oh, wow. Help me. Thanks, man. Well, anyways, I am going to teach you about sublimation. Sublimation is an odd... A little help here. Oh, never mind. Sublimation is when a solid turns into a gas. Or a gas into a solid. Plus, it kind of rhymes with condensation when a gas turns into a liquid. And all that also arrives with evaporation, when a liquid turns to a gas. Isn't that cool? It's cool for cats, yeah? It's cool for cats. Let's fire cannons in victory. My cannons kind of malfunctioned. Anyhow, so, you know what sublimation is, eh? Because I told you just now. And you know what vaccination is? Has nothing to do with thermal energy, so we're not going to explain it. Furthermore, <laughs> so it was murder? Yes, sir. How do you know? There is an infrared camera picture. It shows the shape of a car. A car murder. That's rare. So rare. Indeed, sir. So, a car murder, eh? What does that mean? And how do you know it was a car? Well, it looked like a car, first of all. And in the infrared image, the engine area of a car, like on the picture, was. Well, Excuse me, excuse me, sir. Um, I just burped. Oh, that's okay. Well, it was white, which means it's hot. Very hot indeed. Any witnesses? No, but, uh, sir? Yes? Look all, all over yonder. Now. Oh, why? That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh. Hey guys. I'm in a strange coma. I have a translator. We will continue our adventure type thing. Well, we will start with the explanation of what happened in the previous episode. 